The coelacanth first evolved almost 400 million years ago. The coelacanth is one of the best known examples of a living fossil, the living remnant of an ancient lineage of fish dating back nearly 400 million years. Just to be clear, the term living fossil does not mean that the modern coelacanth is completely unchanged. Characteristics like color and behavior have undergone some modifications. It just means that this fish has retained the major characteristics from its ancient lineage that no longer exist in other species or became very rare over time. This species was thought go extinct around the same time as the dinosaurs some 65 million years ago. But the discovery of this fish in 1938 by a South African museum curator caused a sensation in the scientific community. Because of its rarity, any specimen is prized for its potential value in scientific study. This creature can live up to depths of some 2,300 feet. Its vision is well adapted for seeing in this deep water environment. The coelacanth has a truly tiny brain that makes up only 1.5% of its total cranial cavity. The rest of the cranium is filled with fat. This is one of the many fishes you can catch and proudly display in your aquarium in the popular Nintendo video game series Animal Crossing. The scientific name of the entire coelacanth order, including both living species and extinct ones, is coelacanthiforms. The name coelacanth appears to derive from a Greek word meaning a hollow spine, which is a very apt description of its physiology. Latimeria is the name of the genus for all currently living species of coelacanths. This was given by taxonomists in honor of Marjorie Curtin A. Latimer, who's credited with the discovery of the fish in 1938. The coelacanth once included around 90 known species. Now there are only two living species of coelacanths left. West Indian Ocean Coelacanth, Latimeria chalumni, as it's referred to in the proper scientific form, was the first coelacanth species ever found by humans. It is characterized by blue scale, which actually turn brown after death, with white spots. This species was first discovered around the Comoros Islands between the African mainland and Madagascar, but in recent decades, other groups have also been found along the entire East African coast between Kenya and South Africa. Indonesian coelacanth, the discovery of a second species, Latimeria monodensis, was made in 1997 off the coast of Indonesia. It has a brownish-gray color with white spots, but it is otherwise quite similar to the other species. Genetic evidence suggests it may have split off from the West Indian counterpart more than 10 million years ago. The coelacanth is an example of a lobe-finned fish. The defining characteristic of this class of fish is the presence of limb-like lobed fins. Protruding from the body, these fins contain many bones and muscles that move in an alternating pattern much like the trotting of a horse. This is quite different from the wave-like motion employed by many other fish species. It has been suggested that this fish has changed so little from its ancestral origins because of a stable habitat, lack of serious predators, or other factors that would normally drive large evolutionary change. Another defining feature of the coelacanth is the presence of the notochord, a hollow oil-filled tube which functions as a kind of backbone. Every single chordate on the planet, mammals, reptiles, fish, sea squirts, etc., grows a notochord at some point in their lives, but it's almost always lost at an early stage of development in favor of the vertebrae. By contrast, the coelacanth retains the rather elastic notochord for its entire life as a replacement for the vertebrae it's missing. The coelacanth has several other unusual characteristics. The skull has a hinge joint that can open wide to consume large prey. The snout contains a rostral organ, as part of a sensory system for detecting the electrical elements of its surroundings. And a vestigial fat-filled lung surrounded by hard plates is believed to play a similar role to the swimming bladder by providing the coelacanth with buoyancy. The modern coelacanth is a massive fish that can reach up to 6.5 feet in length and weigh almost 200 pounds. But this is a minnow compared to some species of larger extinct coelacanths that reached up to 21 feet in size. Since this fish is so rarely found, it is difficult to say with any degree of certainty where else it might reside. The only known species appear to have a sporadic distribution across the coasts of East Africa and Southeast Asia. The coelacanth spends most of the daytime hiding in underwater caves and then comes out to feed at night. 
The IUCN Red List currently classifies the West Indian Ocean coelacanth as critically endangered, while the Indonesian coelacanth is merely vulnerable. A lack of knowledge about its habits has hampered some conservation efforts, but a focus on simply reducing accidental catches may go a long way to preserving the fish. The coelacanth is something called a passive drift feeder that moves slowly through the water and picks up whatever prey happens to be passing by. It is believed to occupy near the top of the food chain, but due to the presence of bite marks on some specimens and a developed fight-or-flight response, there may be some predators above it that have no inhibition about chomping into a coelacanth.